I'm Tamara and this is Matthew Dumont and we're from South Portland, Maine. Coralie's our daughter and she's four. She's funnier than anything, at least she thinks she is. <laughs> just a happy kid. Um, and I think she brings that to all of us. It's, it's contagious. She was 20 months old when we got her um, diagnosis. It, they told us it would take six months to get the diagnosis and it came back within a month. Within an hour, we were on Facebook. And we found other kids like her, knowing that this is what she has, I sort of had a starting point and a place to begin before I didn't have that. From then on, it was a switch of philosophy. What can she do? So let's start there. And understanding what it is that she has and what is this champ one and what are other kids like this. Once we began looking online and seeing other kids and we saw our kid and our, our child and other kids, the similarities, uh, then you begin to find, you begin to feel that you're not alone. I think that's really where our journey really starts to take hold. When Coralie was diagnosed, she was, you know, one of the first 20 that was diagnosed. So we've been with this group for quite some time, and to see it grow like it has is just amazing. Um, yeah, you, you are, you're in a group where you feel like you don't have to apologize for anything. Everybody understands everything that you're going to through, and so it's just kind of like a breath of fresh air. You can kind of just, like, let it all go. And I think for me, it's just, it's still mind-boggling that these kids just have so many similarities that it's just I mean they look more like siblings than actual siblings do and they act like each other but yet they're still so different in their own little ways these people feel like family like it's crazy that we you know they're complete strangers in reality to it all but it doesn't feel like that we're just so comfortable with them well, anybody can research anything. It's uh, getting good research with good data and uh, good knowledge anchored in what we call the scientific method is extremely important to me. It's a numbers game. The larger the sample size, the larger the group, the richer the data. The more robust the data, the greater we're able to extrapolate useful knowledge. Useful knowledge is what we're after. We're trying to see what knowledge can we gain collectively from our group that can be used to benefit our, our community.